health and safety, masks must be worn throughout tonight's performance. And as you leave the theater, please take your time to avoid crowding the stairs and aisles. Thank you for your understanding and enjoy the show.
Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the main stage tonight. Thanks all very much for coming out for another night of entertainment here in the main stage. And hopefully you've all had a good day in Aruba today. The weather really worked out well for us again today. So we were really, really lucky there. It was a, a nice day. And now we've got a couple of nice leisurely days as we make our way back up to the coast of Florida. So two days at sea ahead of us. So you can enjoy and relax and take it easy. If you're looking for more things to see and do, uh, the When and Where programs will be full of those as well tomorrow. All of the usuals, your trivias and bingos of dance classes. Uh, tomorrow back in here at 11 o'clock as well, we'll be continuing our EXE talk series. Tomorrow it's called The Caribbean Spirit, which is all about rum production in this part of the world. So it's some really neat interviews with uh, people from John Watlings, from Bacardi, and how uh, rum played a role in Cuba's revolution as well. So uh, lots of fun things. We do cooking shows tomorrow as well. So lots in store for you tomorrow. And then for tomorrow night's entertainment back in here in the main stage, we've got main stage comedy for you tomorrow night as well as we bring Willie Barcina to the stage. So a night of comedy here in main stage tomorrow as well. Now the entertainer we're about to bring out, you may recognize me, you performed earlier in the week, and tonight it's all about an intimate experience. We've got a nice uh, show for you tonight, solo performance here as we get to bring back to the stage a gentleman who's a star of television, film, and Broadway. So without further ado, for a Neil Diamond experience tonight, please help welcome back to the stage, Robert Neary. Disclaimer before I start, everybody. Uh, I'm an actor. My name is Robert Neary. Uh, I've done uh, three Broadway shows. I've uh, done uh, numerous, numerous TV. I'm sure if you Google me, you'll go, oh my gosh, I saw that. I remember him. Film commercials all for 35 years. Uh, the disclaimer is I am not Neil Diamond. I am not Neil Diamond. Yeah, I know. But what I have done is I put together this nice little, uh, this intimate evening with Neil Diamond for all, uh, so for all purposes, ladies and gentlemen, I will uh, act. I will tell stories behind some of Neil Diamond's best songs. These are all true stories that I have gotten to, uh, gotten to learn and know uh, through Neil Diamond's autobiographies, uh, through his uh, many, many interviews. So without very further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Neil Diamond. Good evening, everyone. How are you? I'd like to start out uh, with my first number one single. As a matter of fact, I, uh, people might have thought that this song uh, was about a woman. But it's not about a woman. It's about a bottle of wine. Yes. Yes. Yeah, see, I, I was an avid reader. and. Uh, uh, back in, there's a tribe up in uh, uh, northern Canada, and on the weekends, back in the days, they used to they'd go out on, uh, on Friday and Saturday nights to get their women. And uh, for those unlucky fellows who didn't get their women, they would get a bottle of wine called Crackling Rosie. <laughs> Ain't no right to there ain't no more to go Taking it slow Lord, don't you know Have me a time for the poor man's lady Did you know it's white light train Ain't nothing there that I can't take a call Baby, so Sing where I want Yeah, 
baby, clap your boots and make me a smile. Everything lasts for now and it's alright. We got a night. Set the world right. Don't lose the keys, don't ask no questions. Sing them out again and again. 
and again and again. To release a, uh, I wanted to release a song uh, that was personal to me about a uh, about a childhood friend, and uh, they didn't want to release it. They they wanted more uh, songs for teenagers, you know, about love and upbeat kind of stuff. So unfortunately, I, I, I left I, I left the relationship with Bang Records and I went on to another record label, and I released a song. And it became a hit. It's a little shy now. Yeah. 
was feeling. This song took four months to write. It's my personal favorite. Shines most of the time. The fume is laid back. Palm trees grow, rents are low, but you know what I'm thinking about. Making my way back. But I'm the ocean upon the grave. Nowadays I'm lost between two shores. It is fine, but it ain't home. You know it's home, but it ain't mine no more. I am my sin. To no one they And no one heard at all. Not even the chair. I am, said I, and I am lost and I can't even say why. Being alone is still. Except for the names and a few other changes you talk about me. Stories the same one. Well, I've got an emptiness deep inside I try, but it won't let me go. And I'm not a man who likes to sweat, but I never cared for the sound of being alone. To no one there, and no one heard at all, not even the chair. I am my cry, I am said I, and I am. That movie, Lenny, um, the one that I read for, was um, turned into a Broadway play, um, and uh, not a musical, a play. And they actually offered me the role, and I, I turned it down. I just uh, didn't want to be a part of it anymore, and moved back to New York. So we come to this next song, which um, which I, I had a lot of fun with this song. But when I released it, the critics um, they were a bit. Uh, unkind as, as to what exactly the song meant. See, I was a big, uh, I'm a big poetry fan, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, and I wrote this song, Longfellow Serenade. Uh, but one critic wrote exactly Longfellow Serenade or Hot Sex. Another critic wrote, Did Neil Diamond really just write a song? about writing his manhood. I, 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 I didn't know what to say, but, uh, well, you tell me. Long fellow Sherry Day Such were the things I made For well, she was a lady and I was a dreamer Who through the night we stayed in my way I loved her long before Loved her 
You got those quick feet, I can tell right there. All right, here we go. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. <clears throat> We're going to do a song. Excuse me, one second here. I have a group of uh, followers, a group of fans, actually over half a, half a million of them. And we'll talk more about that at the end of the show. But I, I call them my cruisers because we cruise, we cruise through the decades. Um, and uh, when I do this, when I do this show, I, I dedicate a very special song to them. And tonight, I'm going to do this song from the jazz singer. And I have not played. I, I did practice today a little bit, but uh, I'm just in the mood. This is from the jazz singer. This is Hello Again. Hello again, hello. Just call to say hello. Don't let them make up your mind 
don't you know, girl? You'll be a woman soon. Please come take my hand, girl.
Uh, I'd like to do the uh, the single that I uh, that I released off that uh, off that album. Pretty amazing grace is what you showed me. Pretty amazing grace is who you are. I was an empty vessel. You filled me up inside. And with amazing grace, you stored in my pride. Really amazing grace is how you saved me. And with amazing grace, reclaim my heart. Love in the midst of chaos. Come in the heat of war Showed with amazing grace What love was for You forgave my insensitivity And my attempt to then mislead you You stood beside a wretch like me Are you really amazing grace? Is all I need Stumble inside the doorway of your chapel Humble and hard by everything I found Beauty and love surround me, free me from what I feel. I ask for amazing grace that you will be healed. Oh, you're pretty amazing. Yes, you're pretty amazing. Oh, you're pretty amazing. Yes, you're pretty amazing. You are pretty amazing. Yes, you're pretty amazing. You are pretty amazing. Yes, you're pretty amazing. You overcame my loss of hope and faith. Gave me the truth I could believe in. You led me to a higher place. Showed me that love and hope and truth and grace was all I needed. Are you pretty amazing? Yes, you're pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. You're pretty amazing. You're pretty amazing. You'll always be amazing. <laughs> when I was in college, I went to a uh, I went to one of those uh, big uh, tent revivals back in uh, Jackson, Mississippi. I wanted to, uh, I went just because I was curious. You know, the big movement was all about. I was in college, I knew everything, so nobody could tell me anything, but I was curious. And when I got there, it was unlike anything that I had ever experienced before in my life. Bigger than any rock and roll show, it was just, what the people were experiencing, the music, was just something extraordinary. And then this man walked out, this, this preacher walked out, and um, it was just an awe 
everybody was just so clamored and just so hanging on to his every word. And, and I found myself, I found myself just rooting, rooting for this man. Because I, I knew that he was about to give them something that I could never, ever possibly give. And I wrote a song about that experience.
All right. Not having a good time. We've come actually to the end of the show. But, uh, oh yeah. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do one more. Um, before I do this next song, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to let you know that on, on, on Friday, I got, a, I got a brand new show. Neil Diamond does not make an appearance. But seven other people do. Yes. All through the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. We've got some country. We've got some Broadway. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. We've got some Elvis. Have some uh, friends. You know, I don't want to tell you. I don't want to tell you. It is a, it's a, it's a great show. It's a, uh, a really, really fantastic show. It's called Cruising Through the Decades. So that'll be Friday. Uh, one show. It's a big show. So I'm glad it's not two. Uh, come to the last song. Uh, this song, you might know. You might know this song. Um, but... Um, what you don't know is, uh, you know, probably how it came about. Uh, I, I, was, uh, I was in Memphis, my first recording, uh, and I was, uh, I was told that I should have three songs prepared for the first recording, and I only had two. So that night in my hotel room, I, I wrote down this song. And it was, it's the fastest song that I've ever written. Uh, and I did have a dilemma. I, I, had originally, I, I wrote it for my wife, Marcia, at the time, and um, unfortunately I needed a three-syllable name, and Marcia just wasn't doing it. So I, um, going through the alphabet, and um, I do remember a, uh, a wonderful, wonderful picture of Caroline Kennedy when she was younger, standing by a pony. Uh, and. Uh, it came, it came to be uh, uh, that I did use the name Caroline in this show. And, uh, thank you. And let me tell you something. In 2019, uh, Sweet Caroline was selected by the Library of Congress for preservation in the National Recording Registry for being culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant. And what a song it has become. So good. 
here. Did you see it? How did it come out? Did you like it? Did you like it? We didn't have a lot of people here. Look at this. Look at the picture. You liked it? Eva in Sweet Caroline's stupendous show. Oh. Could you hear it okay? Oh, thank you, Terry. Well, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to put it up there again at, at 10 o'clock. Well, 9 o'clock for you people. Thank you, Marilyn. Glenda, did you like the piano? Did you like the piano? Lori. Did you see the picture? Check that picture out.
Oh, that's okay, Arlene. I'm doing it again at 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock Eastern Time. I'm going to put it up again. We'll go live again. Hey, Diana Frostini, Julie, Joy, Ginger. You like the, I, you know I get emotional when I start singing to you guys. I get emotion. I get all emotional. Yeah, I know it. See, that was a, that was a uh, little special thing I did for you guys. Whoa, the ship is rocking. The ship is a rocking, man. It's great that we got, uh, a, we got good Wi-Fi, huh? Great that we got good Wi-Fi. Had a good crowd. Had a good crowd. Ten o'clock crowd. Hopefully, yeah, they did. They like me. It's funny when I'm watching. I could see people leave, and I'm like, "What are you leaving for? This is good stuff." You know how many people I got that want to come see the show? <laughs> so. Um, my voice. My voice feels good. Tomorrow's show is going to be, uh, Thursday show is going to be, uh, Friday rather. Friday show is going to be rocking. We're going to be rocking. Yeah. Nah. What do you mean, Michelle? Silly girl. It is good Wi Fi. So we go on again in, uh, hi, Paul. It's 8 o'clock now. Oh, it's 9 o'clock for me. Right, right. So I go on at 10 o'clock. I go, oh, thank you, Kathy. Well, you saw it live. That was the intimate night. You're welcome, Joy. I'll just go, uh, I'll just go live again for those people who didn't get a chance to see it. Hey, thanks, Glenn, my buddy from high school. And if you want, you know, Tip Bailey is watching. Thank you, Terry. You, 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 this sound was good? The sound was good? Good. Yeah, my daughter got into college. That was fun. Yes. Yeah, you know why they, they have uh, the Wi-Fi package that they do? It's very cheap as well. It's one of the perks, much better than Celebrity Cruise. And, um, you don't, um, thank you, Kathleen. What's up, Tim Gartland from college? Uh, Sandy, Sharon, Stephanie, Debbie. So let me go. Uh, so let me go. And if anybody wants to watch it again, I'll go live again. Just for the heck of it. And then, uh, Friday. Friday is cruising through the decades, man. Everybody's going to be here, and I got some really special stuff. I'm, I've added I've added more to the show. I've added more to the show, just like I've added to this show, too, with the piano. All right? So I'll go on again at 10 minutes to 9. I'll go on in 50 minutes. All right? Oh, thank you, Catherine. Well, we'll go, we'll go back again. You come back again. We'll do another live. All right? Uh, might as well face it. You're addicted to love. Yeah. Hello, Kimberly. I just finished the show, Kimberly. I'm going to go live again at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern for the exact same show. An intimate... Evening with Neil Diamond. All right. I'll see you then. See you then, Steve Milana. You just—if you miss my show, just know that I'm gonna go live again at nine o'clock. All right. I'm going live here from the uh, cruise ship. Okay, everybody. Love you. And I always get emotional when I talk about you. And then, I don't know if you saw, but I started singing "Hello," and I was all choked up because I just get choked up thinking about y'all because I wish you were all there they all had a great time and they loved me but you guys are the reason why I'm here you guys are the reason why I'm here 
And that's why I get so emotional. <sighs> These people are reaping what, what we all sowed. Yep. You people are the reason why I'm here. And they're taking your place and watching it live. That's not fair. And wait till they get to see 90's Nick and Eddie and Nestor. You know? And you guys, you guys were from the inception. <laughs> they don't know what they're messing, they don't know what's going on. They don't know what's going to hit them. They do not know what's going to hit them. Okay, I'll see you all in uh, 45 minutes. 50 minutes, okay? I'll be back in 50 minutes. Bye-bye, everybody. 5-0. 10 minutes to 9. I'll go live. And we'll do it all again. Bye-bye.